In this video, I'm going to show you um, how mixed numbers can be uh, represented as pictures. Okay, so we have uh, our first picture here has uh, two circles and then uh, part of a circle here. And you'll remember from previous videos that mixed numbers are where we have a whole number and a fraction. So, for example, uh, we might have a number, th a mixed number three and one quarter. Okay, so the 3 is the whole number, and the 1 quarter is obviously a fraction. So those are mixed numbers, and if we look at our picture here, we've got two full circles and then a part. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to um, count up the number of pieces in the circles, okay? So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Check, make sure these are all the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that means that this picture here can be represented by writing the mixed number two as the whole number because we have two whole circles. There's one and there's two. No pieces missing out of those two. So we write the two here. And then this one here we have to write as a fraction. Well, the first thing you need to do is write the uh, denominator, which is going to be 6. Okay, We know that it's a 6 because each of these pieces was counted, and in each piece there were 6. So in a whole circle, call it a pizza, an apple, whatever you want to call it, when you have a complete one, when you have a complete uh, circle, there are 6 pieces. This one's only got one, two, three, four, so that means that our numerator is going to be four, and the denominator is six. Okay, now uh, what you also have to remember is you can always reduce, um, so you need to always simplify uh, your fractions. Okay, so this is going to be the same as two, all right, and two thirds. Okay, so your final answer should be two and two thirds. All right, let's uh, go to the next one. Let's have a look at this one down here. We've got, again, a circle with six pieces in it. All right, and then we have another part of a circle here where there's a piece missing. Okay, so we would represent that as a mixed number as being one. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. So the numerator is going to be 5, and obviously there's a missing piece here, okay, which would make it 6, okay. So, as, a, as I said again, we've got 6 pieces in a complete circle, so that's our denominator. But in this one here, we have only 5 pieces, so that is our numerator. Okay, let's go. Now, in this case, we've got some boxes, <clears throat> and we can see that we've got uh, one, two, three complete boxes, and then there's one left, and each box has one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? So that means that our uh, denominator is going to be four. Now, how many whole uh, boxes do we have? We've got one here, two, and three, so that means we have our whole number is going to be 3, and we have one little lonely box here, and that means that it's going to be 1 for the numerator. So that means that this picture here can be represented by the mixed number 3 and 1 quarter, and that can't be simplified, all right, because 1 quarter is as small as you can go, all right? Let's look at the next one. Uh, again, we've got one, two complete boxes, and then a set of three boxes here, okay? So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So again, our denominator is going to be four. Our whole number is going to be, well, let's count up how many complete boxes we have. We have one complete box, we have two, so that means our whole number is going to be two. And the numerator is going to be these three boxes here two and three quarters. Again, that can't be reduced or simplified, so we go on to the next question. Okay, so here we have 
uh, a set of triangles, okay? And we've got one, two, and then a bit. So we can immediately write in our whole number as being two, okay? And to get the uh, denominator for our fraction, we need to count up how many pieces are in a complete uh, triangle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So our denominator is going to be six. And now we look at the part of the triangle. We have one, two, three, so that means our numerator is going to be three. Now that can be reduced again, so our actual final answer is going to be two and one half, okay? Because three is half of six, okay? So we write our final answer as two and one half. Okay, looking at our last question here, it looks pretty simple. We've got two triangles, two complete triangles and a piece. So again, we've got one, two, one, two. So that means we have um, our numerator, sorry, our denominator is two. We have two complete triangles. There's one, there's two. So our whole number is going to be two. And we have one piece left over. There's one. So our final answer is another two and a half. Okay, I hope that's been helpful for you. Good luck.